Hey fellow gearheads, welcome to another video. My name is Shahid, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Mix Box by IK Multimedia. I usually post videos through the eyes of a guitarist, right? So today we're gonna to try something a little different. After I give you an overview, I'm actually gonna mix a track using the Mix Bus, and then I'll throw some guitar tones at you. So sit back, get your credit card ready, use the link in the description, because the Mix Box is about to blow your mind. So the mix box has 70 effects and they're taken from T-Rex, Amplitude, and Sample Tank. All right, so this has everything that you're going to need to mix your tracks from channel strips, EQs, distortions, filters. All right, so I'm just going to get right into it. Let's go. All right, in the top left here, you have your expansion button. You click that, you can see eight effects or eight effect bays in this case. Below that, you have your input meter, your input fader. And if we go back up top, we have our effects selector, which has 70 effects. Channel strips, distortions, you name it, it's all there. Everything has an on and off button. There we go. And if we go back to the bottom, every bay also has a dry wet fader. So you could mix in whatever levels you want. Below that is where you save your presets or you could call up some presets that uh, IK created for you. Speaking of presets, if we go to the middle here, there's 600 presets that IK created for you. Everything from drums, keyboards, guitars, compressors, vocal chains, you name it. You just choose one, it populates for you, and then you could, of course, you know, add to it and uh, customize it as you would like. That's pretty badass. Then over here you have your output meters and your output fader. And here's your bypass or power button. And below that, you have even more gain staging possibilities. All right, side chaining and a solo button. But none of that matters if it doesn't sound good. All right, so I took some stems that I found on the internet. I mixed them. And uh, we're going to take a listen to what that sounds like. And I put an instance of Mixbox on every track. But we're going to start off with it bypassed. All right, this is what it sounds like bypassed. Baby, I need your touch. Unforgettable kisses. There's never too much, that's why I want all of the pieces. Mm -hmm. Build this control, no one sees that. No one sees that. Baby, tell me what it's like being perfectly bad. And tell me how it tastes good when she's leaving you first, babe. Mm -hmm. But I know you know it, I know you know it, babe. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to turn on the mix bus. Remember, I have it on every track. All right, let me break down what's going on here. All right, see in the white, I have my drum tracks. I have three identical drum loops happening. All right, I'm gonna solo the first one and bypass the mix bus, all right? Ooh, that energy just comes up, track comes to life. Uh, you can see that I uh, lowered the low end, I accentuate the hi-hat and the snare there. Okay, um, but then on track two, I absolutely crush the low end, All right? This is what it sounds like bypassed. Now I was having some phase issues, so I had to put a phase inverter on there. But other than that, 
just amazing. Now track three, my third drum track, I call this my kitchen sink. This I, I just threw everything on it. You can see some automation going on. This is all three drum tracks playing together. And here's the mix bus. Next, you can see the, the GUI here is also resizable. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna to toggle back and forth between the rest of the tracks. Baby, I need your touch Unforgettable kisses uh, Your love's never too, too much. much That's why I want all of the pieces All the pieces mm -hmm. We lose control, no one sees that No one sees that